Aliens. All right. Wow. Was this movie long? It was super long. I four and a half hours long. I am so confused. Yeah. By why people love this series. Uh nostalgia at this point, I would say. Yeah. I like I think you had to <laughs> like it when it came out to really truly enjoy it now. Yeah. It doesn't make sense to me. Like I get that the effects, obviously all that stuff is old. You know, and the tropes and everything has been redone and reused. And so it doesn't feel fresh. Yeah. I get that. But even without that, even if this was brand new, completely new, it is so slow. And it's so slow until the last 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> it's so. Uh, okay. Uh, on Twitter, I asked, let's see if the poll ever, if anyone else got on there. Um, do you think. With two votes. Was it two votes? I don't know. I, didn't. <laughs> uh, I just skipped it. Do you think that Ripley became a Mary Sue in this movie? Or do you think that her ability to fight the aliens was more justified? Like, do you think she magically just became able to fight off all of the aliens? Or do you think I it was think justified? She was fueled by anger. Yeah. For killing her crew in the first one. Uh, so. With two votes to one, it's justified. Oh, okay, so three. Over yeah. who cares? Um, but I don't know because she was in a coma or she was in a deep freeze right. for whatever it was 57 years, 67 57 years. years. Right? 57, so I think. The end of Alien. So, Alien, I don't think she's a Mary Sue at all. I think she gets lucky every step of the way. She just happens to survive because she's more cautious than everyone else, right? She's yeah. more aware. She's more alert. And she, she survives not through skill, but mostly luck, which I think it makes it a better movie. This one, she wakes up from her deep freeze. Mm -hmm. So for her, it's like one day, right? She, she goes to sleep. She just burns the alien up in the afterburners. Wakes yeah, up. It would feel immediate, I assume. Yeah. And so it's like, it's, you know, within hours that she just ended Alien for her. And now she's competent, capable. You know, she's not like she's scared, but she's like just picking everything up. She understands how to use guns right away. Like she outlives all the other soldiers, all the Marines, all the trained people. She, it's it just, I don't know. I, I felt like it was a weird uh, development for her character. And it, they do do like a couple training scenes, but for her yeah. to be more equipped to kill the aliens because she had the one experience in the first movie doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, I didn't even really think about it like that. Yeah, because like, there's no what what skills did she gain in the first movie that would prepare her for the second one? Other than like a, a general knowledge of what the aliens are composed of, but she tells everyone that. Yeah, you know, I know they don't believe her at first, but as soon as they find them, everyone's on the same page. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and. Now you have soldiers who have trained for years and years are getting, you know, taken out left and right. And she's the one who survived. She's the one who is able to, to defeat all the aliens. Hmm. Just luck. Just, but it wasn't really luck in this one. Like I felt like they, they established it pretty well in the first one that it was luck. In this one, it felt much more like skill. Yeah. I, when I found out that this was going to have Bill Paxton in it, yeah, I was really excited. <laughs> he was so him. annoying. <laughs> he was so terrible. Yeah. Game over, man. Game over. Game over. Just all of his lines and the way. Ugh. I mean, that yeah. was his, his character, right? That was specifically. No, I it get was a, that. It was intentional, but. But I didn't man, like it. Yeah. No, it was like, I think, I don't know. So this was 88. 
No, 87. No, it's like 84. 83. I don't know. I don't know why I threw out those first couple numbers. I Those were a complete <laughs> guess. <laughs> I want to, was it 83? Is that confirmed? Uh, I'm looking up. Hang on. Um, I want to say 84. I want to say it's 83. Maybe it's 82, 81, 86. Every, guess every other 86. number is 86. Uh, I close this. I don't know at that time if this was supposed to be a fun, likable character or if he was That's supposed was to be too. really annoying. Because he got whiny, right? He got scared. He got shut down. And Ripley had to come and be like, hey, right. you know, you got to get your stuff together. I need your help. You know, figure it out. So that leads me to believe, okay, maybe he was supposed to be the worst. Maybe he's supposed to be annoying. Yeah. But also he's kind of like a bro, whatever you would consider a bro at that time. Like a cool, like, you know, doesn't care about the rules type character, which is generally played, textbook bro, <laughs> generally played up to be more likable, but I did not like him at all. Um, yeah, I don't think I liked a single thing about it and I was quite bummed. Yeah. Okay. So um, what did you think about the aliens okay. in this one? The xenomorphs. Well, I know in the last movie, my complaint was that we didn't really get to see enough. Yeah. And now I've seen too much. <laughs> I feel like I didn't see them at all this time either. Oh, really? It was, uh, everything was cut so quick. So, okay. Flashing lights. Yeah, on flashing and off. lights, oh, gunfire. It was exhausting cam. to watch these scenes. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, I think the Xenomorphs, the aliens, <laughs> I think they are, uh, uh, I don't know a better word, but they're beautifully designed, right? Like they are, they are fantastic to look at if it's a statue, yeah. but what they yeah. did oh. to make them move is awful. They, 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 uh -huh. they look so awkward that I think filming it, they were aware of that, so they tried to hide it with quick cuts. Like doing and, all the quick cuts. Yeah. yeah, and it was just like not fun. Like it wasn't enjoyable. No. You don't get to see the action. It just nothing. Yeah, not a whole lot of fun. I didn't care for the, what was it like the mouth that comes out of the mouth? Yeah, the double mouth. I've never understood it, it that idea. So mechanic, yeah. I didn't, I haven't either. So it, it's so mechanical looking. Mm -hmm. What it reminds me of is like what was the show Wipeout, right? And the, <laughs> the wall puncher. with the punching gloves. <laughs> yeah, that's what. Like, <laughs> I mean, so, it probably sure it's built the same way too. When that alien eats something with its big mouth, does it have to double chew it with its small mouth? Yeah, I don't know. Or is it like getting in the small mouths? Like, does the small mouth have eyes? I don't think so. The, the, I think it's just another just, mouth. Just a mouth? Yeah. Does the outer mouth ever actually chew food? That's what I'm asking. I don't know. No one knows. Nobody knows. Also, I I was confused by who they captured and took back and who they just killed. Cause yeah, there was. I think there were too many people, to be honest. Well, they captured a lot of people. They captured the whole community, it seemed like. And okay, so to that scene, right? So they, they stumble upon the nest, they find the person trapped in the goo, like stuck to the wall and all that stuff, right? And she yeah. pops open her eyes and like, We got a live one, we got a live one. And she's like, Kill me, kill me, and the alien busts out of her chest. Well, as soon yeah. as the alien busts out of her chest, the thing is, you know, the size of a hoagie, the size of a, a subway sandwich. <laughs> and oh, yes. they're like burn it and they just set this lady who was on fire two seconds ago or set this lady who was alive two seconds ago on fire i was like man i feel I think like she was, I think she was already dead she, she definitely would be right like if something burst out of your chest but she was just alive and then this little tiny tiny alien yeah. pops out they could have tried to kill it another way instead of burning you know, setting this yeah, lady on fire who could still be filling things, you know? Right. Yeah, exactly. Step on it, hit it with the back of your gun, take out your knife, maybe your shotgun, all a lot of different options. Take it, punt it, just grab it. 
I don't know if I'd want to grab it. But yeah, no, I, I see what you're saying. But I, I want to say right before they started burning, you could see she was like a lifeless corpse. <laughs> yeah, for two seconds. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's it was, all it takes. It, <laughs> it was just. I'm convinced I'm going to burn everything up. <laughs> if you think that I'm dead for more than two seconds, you're going to set me on two fire. Two seconds. Don't like even like fall asleep and like not take a breath for two seconds. Like, he's dead. <laughs> Burn him. <laughs> Got to be an alien. Oh man, uh, what do you think about Newt? What's your Newt opinion? Uh, okay, hmm. I don't know. I guess she was fine. I didn't <laughs> care one way or the other. Uh, I guess she. It was interesting. She kind of became Sigourney Weaver's daughter. Yeah. Since she kind of got, she missed out on her daughter's life. I don't know if that plays a part going forward, but yeah, I don't know. I think she does, but I, I'm not sure. Uh, so what a bummer, right? So imagine you're Sigourney Weaver and you've just woken up from this 57 year sleep. Yeah. Now everyone is probably pretty familiar with the scene in um, Interstellar, right, where they're on that planet for. For them, a short time, but it's like their family's whole lifetime. Yeah, and that that emotion that Matthew McConaughey feels when he finds out like he missed his kids like whole their life. whole life. Yeah, at least they were still alive. Imagine you missed all of that, and your kid is also dead. Well, did Sigourney Weaver have a kid before then? Yeah, that's who she was talking about. Talking about her daughter, right? Uh-huh. And the I don't know what his role was in this movie. He he ended up being the bad guy, but oh, he's yeah. like, yeah, we you know we we found out, and she lived to be six or she was sixty six when she died, oh, which was gotcha. two years. Yeah, yeah. Ago. Sorry, I thought you were talking about Newt being her daughter. No, no, Th- no. That's what I was confused by. Uh, one second. Uh, my wife says them killing the the baby alien would have gone against the movie's message that Marines are killing things, not thinking. All they do is kill That's in this true. movie. They're very dumb people in this movie. I think Marines are not dumb in real life. But these were these were different. What what were they calling these when these were something Marine? Colonial, colonial Marines. Marines. So everyone knows colonial Marines are dumb dumbs. Bunch of dumb dumbs. They don't do a very good job. Also, the captain's voice made me crazy. <laughs> It was like, uh, which one was the captain? I'm trying to remember. The black Is guy. Is he the one who survived? No. Oh, no, okay. Yeah. He, yeah, he yeah, died yeah. almost right away. But of course. like he had that generic uh, military voice where it's like yeah. everything was so enunciated and like clean. And it's just like, mm-hmm. I don't know, it was like nails on a chalkboard for me. I hated it. Anytime he spoke, I was like, oh, it's the yeah. worst. Uh, I agree with that. What did you, how did you feel about the robot guy? I, I liked him. He well, was the best part of this movie, in my yeah. opinion. He was the real hero. Yeah, he uh, he was much better than the first one, right? The first well, one. I think that was what they, they were going for a complete opposite, right? They yeah. they want you to distrust him, you know, because of the other guy was the bad guy. Yeah. And then he ends up saving them and then even saving the girl again at the very end. Yeah, I liked I liked ah, that he, he was self aware. I liked how they played with him being a villain, right? Like they kinda yeah. they try to plant seeds in your head as an yeah. audience that oh he's he is bad. Don't trust him, he is bad. Uh and that he actually is just a like what you see is what you get type of character. Um like it works when it's an, a robot, right? Like it's harder to do that with a person, like a, an actual person, but like what he says, you can believe. And that's kind of a refreshing um, character to have. I uh, agree. And My question was, did they build him to feel pain? I Because th- one, if so, pretty messed up since it's not necessary. Yeah. Because, you know, at the part where he's getting at, at the end, when he's getting torn apart, he's like stabbed and he's like, ah, <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, if, if, if it were really like just a robot guy who didn't feel pain, I'd just be like, oh, dang it. You know, freaking inconvenient. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, so pain has value to us, right? Because it keeps us safe. It keeps us from getting right. destroying ourselves and breaking things. So maybe that would be As some kind of a alert system. Yeah, like in, in the same. Okay, way. that's fine. But he could feel pain. But would it also would it be necessary for him to like cry out in pain? <laughs> Thanks for following, cat. Uh, I, um, yeah, I don't think so. There, I, I, I would understand the feeling pain, but then also like, ah, <laughs> yeah, he could just be alerted to it. Right. Like he doesn't need to actually right. suffer. He could just, and just be like, oh no, something's being broken. You need to stop doing this. There's a much easier way if you're a robot than, uh, to have to suffer through all the pain. I, I like when we're first introduced to him and obviously Sigourney Weaver doesn't trust him, you know, because yeah. of it was just for her the day before that the other one betrayed him. Yeah. And he's like, oh, well, like what model was it? And she said, it. he's like, oh yeah, no, that guy was garbage. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you, yeah, no, that makes sense why he turned on you. He is not good. They had a lot of problems. He's like, it's impossible for it to happen now. And that was one of the seeds that they're kind of planting in your head of like, yeah, the character saying, it's impossible. You're like, oh no, okay, so it's definitely going to happen. Anything impossible is going to happen if it's stated to be impossible. But it's, it's, he was yeah. he was telling the truth. It was yeah. impossible. He was sacrificial. He was basically the Jesus character in this movie, and uh, he saved. Well, not everyone, because pretty much everyone died, but he saved Newt and uh, Sorin Weaver, and he yeah. he got out right. He he got onto the ship at the end. Well, I think they didn't. They show him like in a body bag. Maybe he ended up passing away, but I, I think I don't know they if that means like him. he dies or yeah, they're able to like fix him up. Well, That'd they be pretty cool. They they turned back on the other one. They from the first movie. They hooked yeah, up his yeah, head. Yeah. <laughs> I just I'm so uncomfortable with the milk everywhere. I just don't like milk, and just as soon as he stabbed, he's gushing milk out of his mouth. Yeah, that is the biggest nightmare for me what did you think of that uh the mother alien oh sorry narwhal asked if we had seen rear window i have not is that the johnny depp one anyways we're talking about aliens from 1986 i don't know if you've seen it if you like it we did not we were not fans but uh what did you think of the mother alien the, the the end the big one the Ooh, queen the queen that's what i was looking for thank you uh, uh nauseating yeah it was really gross like Which when it probably the point it detached i didn't like the the lay in the egg like out of the tube yeah it's a hitchcock film that was just weird. narwhal says what well, but they remade it with johnny depp right am i crazy about that i haven't seen either if oh they... no you're thinking of uh pirates of the caribbean oh i always get which is yeah, I I always get this Not confused. Not an original Disney movie. <laughs> um, I get it's based off the Disney ride. It's based on the Disney ride, yeah. But what is the ride based off? That's pirates the question. Of the Caribbean. I think it is yeah. a book. Real life pirates. Is it a book? I think so. Um, Boom, Disney then. <laughs> uh, I want All of it might be books, actually, come to think of it. Like they, all the movies start with them opening books. Indiana Jones. That's probably original, right? Yeah, but that was Lucas. And then they done blew it with the aliens. They done blew it with the aliens. Oh, in Indiana Jones. I thought you were talking about this franchise we're talking about. Narwhal says, Rear Window is regarded nope. as one of the best films of all time. I'm the only one. I think I'm the only one who thinks it's not good. I, I don't no, know. I can I, tell you, if it's regarded as one of the best films, Alan does not like yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. There's a good chance that I won't like it. I seem to go against the grain quite often. Um, yeah, window. yeah, I could have sworn. I don't. Narwhal, do you? I think you're right. Johnny Depp remade it, right? Or not? He well, he was in the remake. So Rear Windows from 1954. I know what you're thinking of it, but I don't think it's called Rear Window. But mm-hmm. I know it's uh, what is that one called? Disturbia with, with Shia LaBeouf, Sam. That was good. I like that. I, like I mean, f- for a Shia LaBeouf movie, I've never seen Rear Window. What was that one? Hold on, I'm gonna find it. By the famous review review dude, 
I don't know who is that. Is that his name or is that just your name for someone? Secret window is what I'm thinking. Secret window, yeah. There you go. Uh, Disturbia is good, where he's spying on his neighbor, but rear window yeah. sucked. I, <laughs> I believe you. I bet it's boring now. If it was made in the fifties, like four, there's there's a value. I, I said this on the uh, the Predator podcast, and I probably said it on the Alien podcast. So sorry if this is the third time you're hearing me say this. There's value to looking at a movie in the context that it was made, right? You you can appreciate it. You can say, wow, look at all that they did with what they had. But there's also value in judging it in your own context. If you watch yeah. it and it's boring to you, you don't have to like it. You, yeah. th- just because it was good at a time doesn't mean you have to like it now. Like there's no... There's no rule that says because they did something impressive once means you have to enjoy it now because there's a lot of old movies that are just really boring. They've White Christmas. White Christmas, exactly. Or Aliens. <laughs> Aliens is extremely slow and it takes 50 minutes for the movie to start and they start the movie off with a music cue that is so aggressive when she starts the car and starts driving, there's just like this hard rock song that starts playing. And it's just like, all right, I guess the movie's finally starting. Uh, Pirates, it was based on a ride as well as the haunted mansion right. and Tomorrowland. But I thought Pirates of the Caribbean was a book before it was a ride. You're thinking of treasure Island, Swiss family, Robinson mm. Titanic. Why are modern movies so expensive to make if they're all just CGI? Because CGI is really expensive to do. <laughs> CGI and inflation and actors and actresses get paid out the butt. Yeah, the actors and actresses get paid a lot. And advertising and marketing. Yeah. But like you have to consider how long it takes to do CGI for mm-hmm. the, you know, especially if you're having to like key stuff out and like um mask, I'm sorry, mask stuff out and like redo it. It's a lot of effort on the 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 people on the like computer doing each- it frame you know has to be perfect and who knows I don't, yeah I it, how many it's frames not there are it's not so much like they're not having to paint out each frame anymore like that's kind of how they started doing it it's gotten a lot more uh advanced than that yeah but it's still a ton of work because not only they can do what they did in the 90s way faster now they can make oh, something sure. you know in the 90s like in minutes right like people on youtube do better stuff than what they're doing in the 90s now based on just on their own computers but they're continuing to advance they're in con- continuing to increase and in, you know uh elevate the the art i guess if you want to call it cgi art but uh what yeah. percent of the total budget are actors paid it depends on the movie depends on the actor and also on their contract some yeah. get paid probably like a flat rate. Some are paid like a percentage of profit or fees and all kinds of different things factored in. Yeah. I don't remember uh, what Robert Downey Jr. got paid for signing on for those last four Avenger movies or the last, not four Avenger movies, but the last four movies he was a part of. But it's a lot, a lot of money. And because I he- I want to say it's probably 10 to 15 per movie. I think it's way more than that. I think it's more than that. I think it, it could was like be. A, that wouldn't surprise me. It was like a quarter of the budget. Um, oh, jeez. I, I could be making that up. Maybe it was a quarter of one movie's budget across four movies. But it's a lot. Yeah. Uh, but it's because he, you can't have it without him. You can't make the Avengers without Iron Man right now I, until he's dead he or that. until he yeah. retires. You know, and, and so he, he has the ability to do so, and they have the money to pay him. Yeah. Um, yeah, so why not? I mean, he he helped get you to where you're at now. So yeah, no, for sure. But uh, anyway, so back to aliens. Mm-hmm. The queen alien was upsetting to look at. It like yeah, very much. It moved so weird because it wasn't. So the other the other xenomorphs were people wearing a costume, right? This yeah. I, I think was just a puppet. I don't know. I don't know if it was a life size puppet or like a miniature that they just you know, scaled up, but it did not move in a way that made me feel comfortable. No. And it was just gross. 
Uh, like I said, the whole laying the egg thing was awful. Yeah, that was gross. The <laughs> the clear uh, yellowish brownish tube that it was pumping tube. eggs out of. <laughs> Just pumping eggs. Uh, Narwhal says, "Let's play a game. How much is Disney worth?" I'm gonna say oh. <sighs> billions for sure. Yeah, multiple billions. I would say fifty billion dollars. No, not that much. You don't think so? No. Not with all the Star Wars and Marvel and all that part of it now? I would say closer to- And they just acquire Fox? I would say in between 10 and $20 billion. I will put my official guess at 40. 40. Do you know the answer, Nawal? Because we don't have the answer. And it was your question. So and I have to know now. now we can't we, move on. Yeah, we now the podcast is at a standstill. I'm going to hate them even more when I find out how much they're worth and they're not Ooh. doing original content. Almost $100 billion. Ooh. Ninety-eight point six. That is a lot of money, but they do own a ton of stuff. They own yeah. Marvel uh, Studios. They own uh, Lucas Films. They own Fox now. They own ABC. They own uh, Pixar. Yeah, yeah, well, ESPN is theirs. ESPN. Yeah, they they have a ton of stuff. Disney. I, I not yeah. Well, obviously Disney, but um, <laughs> Discovery. Discovery is what I was trying to say. I believe Discovery is under Disney. Um, they have a ton, a ton of stuff. Plus, is that including? Is that Disney Studios or is that including like Disneyland, Disney World, all the merchandise and all that stuff as well? I would imagine it's all of it. No, I have no idea. I don't know how all that's calculated. I don't know if they yeah. have to split off the entertainment side versus the like the amusement part stuff. Um, yeah. but yeah. So back to aliens, the Queen Mother, Queen Mother, um. She dies. She gets sent out of the airlock, but yeah. gets back on the ship at some point. Like it's the same ending. They Wait, did, did she get back one. on the ship? Oh no, I'm sorry. The uh, it blows up. the The building blows up, and it looks like they left her behind. But she gets oh, okay. from the yeah, platform yeah, yeah. back onto the ship, and then she gets sent out of the airlock, which is almost identical ending to the first movie. Yeah. Uh, Amateur James was here. Now he sleeps. Have a good night, Amateur James. Oh, all right. Have sweet dreams. Would you like Taylor to sing you a song? Is this a real life? Or is this just fantasy? There's no or. On the land I'm done. Oof, that was the worst thing I could imagine no, falling asleep to. reality. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so. Open your eyes. The Indians <laughs> look up to the skies and see. All right. <laughs> nice. So the aliens. That's the value we give 110%. Yeah. You give us 100% <laughs> of your investment, we'll give you an extra 10% back. Right? We'll give you James. 10% on top of that. Yes. We, it's not a good business plan. No, we, we, we are, are our bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> this is our last podcast. Um, we had to pay to put this one out. But right, so Aliens ends exactly the same way as Alien does. I did like that fight though. With the, she's in the 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 loader oh, suit. Oh, the loader! I forgot. I wanted to talk about that in the uh, in the beginning of the movie when she gets in that loader, and everyone is so shocked. Uh huh. That was so offensive to me. <laughs> as a woman, as a woman, you didn't like that. I did not like that because she does nothing in that loader, and that is impressive. She gets right. in, buckles in, and she uses to put the feet in. Yeah, <laughs> and they're like, "What? A Whoa, woman wait, can do Hold this?" And the right foot. <laughs> and then she picks up the box, and they're like, "That's amazing." I wow. I could never in my whole life imagine a woman could a pick woman a box doing up. Doing what a man could do. <laughs> it was so dumb, and like it, it was, it was so drawn out. Like they, they invested so much time into that scene of like well, they had I mean, to set it up. It was a cool, like a cool uh, moment, right? To see how it all works, but they invested so much into their reaction. Like yeah. I don't mind showing the the loader how all that works and like doing all that, but their reaction was so like focused on of like, wow, this isn't your normal woman. She can use a joystick, like. I don't know. It was 
It was upsetting. They 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 could have they should have set it up with someone else using it and her making a comment, and then they could even say that, oh no, you can't use this. Like this is probably too much for you. And then in the end, she does use it, and it saves everybody, or it saves the the rest of the people. Yeah, we are. So we can see how how it works. You know, we we and we understand it's part of this universe. I don't know, but yeah, yeah you're right. It it was dumb. We are live, Calvinist. We are live, sir. Um, no, this is pre-recorded. This is yeah. I actually I anticipated that you would ask that question. We'll do it live. <laughs> it was pre predestined that that question would come up, and I knew it was coming. Um, yeah. So it didn't make any sense. And then the fight uh, with the right. mother. Uh, why do I? I don't yeah. know why I can't. The queen alien. I don't know why that's so hard. <laughs> with, the <laughs> with the mother. I maybe I have mother I mean, issues. It is the mother. I have. I just when I watched this, it reminded me of my mom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the 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 loader should have crushed that alien's head. I okay. So I the whole time, right? It's got each arm has got like the two prongs. I guess you could call it. I don't yeah, know. The you forks. know, like a forklift, right? Yeah. Put that around the neck and just turn, right? Yes. Yeah. Turn it or just one way or the other. Those and things snap the ne- snap it. Those or things squeeze it. Yeah. Those things could lift like thousands of pounds. Safe to say, right? How heavy do you think that box was? It was like full of guns and just made out of steel. Thousands of pounds. You just seven pounds. Oh, seven. Okay. No. Oh, I thought we were naming our favorite Will Smith movie. <laughs> um, easily should have been able to crush the alien's head. I feel like if bullets yeah. could destroy them. Right, those aliens were so fragile when they got shot. They just like yep, just paper mache. Uh, that that loader should have easily been able to crush its head. But I agree. You no, know, they had to redo the the airlock scene. And again, th- I don't, I don't. This this was upsetting. There's no way you could hang on with that alien holding on to you. Nope. That Man. drove me nuts that it was sucking the girl and yeah. the dude yeah. from like across the the dock yeah. or the bay or whatever. But she's right there where there's no resist. There's like nothing blocking yeah. it. And with a giant One alien ended. holding on to her. Yeah. And she doesn't have a Which problem. Which apparently is so heavy that it can't be lifted. With- yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that was my... Well, fault. and also, how are they continuing well, to breathe? Like, yeah, there should be no oxygen, right? None. All the oxygen is gone. Everything that's in their lungs food. is taken out as well. That's how a vacuum works. But it's just like yeah. they're just, oh, we're okay for a minute, and we just got to close it quick. And it, oh, it made me upset. Uh, yeah. Um, but I did like the fight. I'm not gonna lie, I did like that. Yeah. With the double mouth, but that's really it. I didn't like when the mouth was like trying to punch her. But <laughs> what did you think of the love like, stories it, in this? Because those were weird. The love stories. So like, there's the two guys, or the, not the two guys. The the guy with the um, hip mounted, yes, sir, aliens. The second one, uh, with the hip mounted gun, and the girl who had the hip mounted yeah, gun. Was there, was there- was it Ramirez or Sanchez? I don't know. It feels racist just to keep guessing Mexican names. Well, I'm not going to keep guessing. <laughs> um, they were they had a weird love affair that wasn't like built upon at all. Yeah, that's true. And then there was Hicks, I want to say, and Ripley, who had a weird chemistry that wasn't built yeah. on. And there's like some weird lines of he's like, oh, here you go but this doesn't mean that we're engaged. And he's like giving her grenades or something like that. And it's just like, well, yeah, clearly that doesn't mean anything. You know, trying this to... tradition, you give grenades <laughs> to the person you want to marry. Oh man. I, I was disappointed in this movie. I, I don't know. Like, I know this series is beloved. I know that people it shouldn't be. enjoy it. And nostalgia has a big factor in that, but it is, Oh, it is rough. Uh, fire and Arthur. Oh, I'm sorry. Woo, that was rough. Fire. Uh, ooh, let me try again. Father, Father Ironheart. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I haven't seen the Jeez. movie in forever, 
I love the franchise, regardless of the quality of the movies. I'm a sucker for them. Yeah, and I get that. I get. I'm excited I, for the newer ones, like Prometheus. I heard those are bad. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Then what do I have to live for? <laughs> um, I get, I get loving them based on nostalgia. I get if you've seen them as a kid, and they were scary yeah. at the time, and you know, even if it's a connection with family or whoever took you to see them originally, or you know, just if you saw them originally when they came out, like I get loving them now, but seeing them now is like, yeah. oof. These are rough. Rough. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I don't know what happened. I don't know when I turned into a dog, but. Woof. Woof. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I was, I was disappointed. I didn't get it. I don't see the, the value to them. Uh, Father Ironheart said, I never saw Prometheus or the stuff that came after. I want to see those. Yeah. It's Prometheus and Covenant are the two like post, uh, uh, Alien vs. Predator. Are they I think working on that one. third movie? I think so. I heard they're thinking about doing a Ripley prequel, which seems completely unnecessary because yeah. she, from my understanding, I haven't seen, I've only seen the first two so far, and I don't think in any of those two they they qualify that she has any type of training or anything other than she's just like a you know a truck driver in space. Yeah. You know, yeah. that was kind of, like she was a, she was kind of in charge, but like, there's no depth to that story that would make you want to know how she got to that point. Not like solo. I want to know. That's the one right. that I really want to find out about. Like, how did he get his belt? Shit. How did he get his jacket? Where did his gun Where come from? Where did he get that vest? How did Chewbacca get his nickname? Uh, Why did they call him Solo? <laughs> Father Ironheart says, I get not liking them feel like it's hard to make those movies quality but i'm one of the people who can't help it i think they they i don't know they kind of shot themselves in the foot by playing it so slow and yeah that's kind of a product of the time where that's how you built tension was you don't show the monster for a very long time because that's that's what jaws established and jaws did it so well but jaws was a threat from the start Right in the yeah. in the opening scene, something happens, and you're like, "Okay, this is serious." In these movies, you don't see an alien until halfway through the movie, and so you just have this these characters that aren't going to survive, who are just kind of tropes or just uh, uh, archetypes of a character. They're not. There's no real depth to them. It's like you have the angry guy, the smart guy, the scared guy, and so it's like they want you to build connection to these characters who don't have any depth then you finally get to the movie halfway through you're already exhausted and just like oh let's just let's get this over with i'd like to talk about what the oh. statute of limitations on crimes committed in space are <laughs> yeah seriously that dude, that dude wanted to come after her for blowing up that <laughs> ship 57 years earlier <laughs> i get that it's the same day or you know next day for her but yeah. it's not for them no they were probably not even born yet yeah they had no, kids, at least. no connection to that. Like, I've been waiting 57 years to get you for this. <laughs> All that money had already been written off and figured out and yeah, taken exactly. care of. There was no debt to be paid. And if anything, 57 years in hypersleep is punishment enough. And it, like, it's well, like, and to think, if someone is being charged, right, for destroying something substantial 57 years ago, yeah. in these days, they'd be like, that was worth. $90. Like, don't act like the price is still like that substantial anymore. Well, so, and then their, their plan to, for her to pay it off was to go with the Marines for what, what did they need Ripley for this movie to be an advisor? I guess this movie was hurt so much by forcing Ripley into it. They should have just gone, you know, you know, a hundred years into the future, story. Yeah. Ripley's gone, Ripley's dead, whatever happened to her. No one Holy believes her. They think she's crazy, no. whatever. She's just done. No one cares. The colony gets taken over. These Marines show up and they're like trying to figure out what's going on with no information about what could have happened. And then the Marines fight off the aliens and try to figure it out step by step in a similar way. But it's just, I don't know. It's 
forcing her back in really hurt the story, in my opinion, because they had to establish getting her back and why she would need to go back and what her motivation would be. And it was just all unnecessary. And Paul Reiser yeah. is so gross. <laughs> he did a really good job. That was his character. But I hated every time he was on screen. Yeah. Uh, I like Paul Reiser. Though. I think he did okay. Yeah, no, I... I I think he did really good at what he was no, supposed yeah, to do. No, yeah, he's just a gross character. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Father Ironheart says, I remember the first Alien movie took forever to get anywhere. As a younger kid, Guess I was Guess what? This one that. takes three times as long. Yeah. The first one is way faster than the second one. Uh, experiences with aliens seems legit. Sam says she vaguely described what happened one time. So obviously she needed to be there. Yeah, exactly. She was just like, I don't really know anything about these aliens. But they do exist, and they will kill you. And like you, you like, have, they have to be acid with us. for blood. Like, acid for blood. <laughs> get <Yeah>. out of here. <laughs> Let's get her back. <laughs> get her back in here. She needs to come. If she's not there, we don't know what we're going to be able to do. And uh, like clearly, she's the only one who could fight them. But I still don't understand why. Yeah. Like like I said at the beginning of the podcast, she did nothing in the first one to like skill wise right she ended up killing him but lucked out every single step of the way uh, sam says and they cut her off during her story yeah they didn't believe her they didn't listen to her and they were just like they're, they're, no yeah. this couldn't happen these things don't That's exist so and they completely changed their mind once a colony goes missing oh this movie made me mad i did not enjoy it yeah what do you oh. rank it uh negative five to five taylor uh, hmm. negative two negative two yeah i think so negative two sounds about right uh, i would say i don't think we ranked the first alien but that one was probably just a zero for yeah me. i agree too yeah i'm pretty much on the same page it was it didn't do anything super wrong it was just slow it was uh, just it bland yeah but it didn't do anything great this one i think it had better characters like the crew I thought was better. Maybe that's because there was less of them. I don't know. Or they weren't there just to die. Yeah. Like how it felt like these ones were. Yeah. But, they, these definitely felt a lot more like cannon fodder. Like. Yeah. They were just Red there shirts. to, you know, to take the to die. the acid. <laughs> I was going to yeah, say bullets, but just to like absorb the impact until it got to Ripley and she could fight them off. Where the first yeah. one felt like a little bit more. I don't know. I, they still didn't have a lot of character, but it did feel no better. They were more likable though. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would say I agree with you. Negative two and a zero. Um, yeah. I don't know if people it's listening. It's upsetting how much we agree these days. I know. It's because I've broken you down. People who. Or have I brought you up? Mm, we met in the middle. I don't think so. You gave this a negative two. That sounds like you're going down. <laughs> Deservedly so. <laughs> um. If people don't know how we rate rank movies, rate movies, we give zero as uh, it doesn't do anything great, but it doesn't do anything terrible. It's just what you expect. And yep. then anything above expectations is a plus one, plus two, up to five. Just makes it easier because people, people who rank things from one to ten, in my opinion, don't have a very consistent uh, way of doing it. Some people think five yeah. is average. Some people think seven is average. So we decided... Hey, let's make it extra complicated by adding in negative numbers and do it that way. More, it's, an, it's a more original idea than anything Disney's put out in the last 30 years. Couldn't agree more. But uh, so thanks for listening. Thanks for hanging out with us on Twitch. Thanks for checking out the podcast. We will be back uh, in two weeks with Alien 3. Our next episode should be Predators 2 with Fire Resistant Podcast. And uh, I'm... I'm so excited for our Alien versus Predator super podcast. Up. Yeah, that'll be fun. But that's a that's a few, that's a ways away. But uh, we'll get there. Yeah, there's like 17 six hour movies of Alien in between. Oh. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, so like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and we'll be back. <laughs>